it's over. It's over. And we knew it was always going to be over. So I just think that it's really about reviewing what this move was. But guys, let's keep it a stack. This PSG move was not planned. PSG, sorry, Messi, in a vacuum, didn't choose to go to PSG. It was the next best thing. Down to Messi, his choice was to remain at Barcelona and to retire at Barcelona. The only reason that he went to um, PSG was because that was the next best thing. <laughs> so pretty much after he did his whole thing and so forth with, with, with regards to the, the weird technicalities of why he couldn't re remain on at Barcelona because Barcelona screwed everything over. The next thing was PSG. And the notion, and this is the way to see, the notion was, my gosh, we have Messi, we've got Neymar, we've got Mbappe. We're winning the UCL. Of course we're winning the UCL. But I think what she found was he needed that adjustment period in his first season. And I think in subsequent seasons, even when he, he got better, I just feel that Messi spent so long at Barcelona, it was very hard for him to come to a different team and still put up the numbers and have the same kind of footballing impact here at, at Barca. He has, has had a very good, solid season this past season for, for PSG. But it's just that what PSG fans were expecting is not what they got. They got a good player, but they're expecting this astronomical, otherworldly player, which is what we've seen at Barcelona for most of the years, where he's hands down the greatest club football player of all time. Like, there is no club football player that even comes close to what Messi has done in the club game. No one even comes close. So, that's the notion there. So, you say to myself that because it's a question that we're going to ask, we're going to discuss this on the Hangouts to, tonight, which is the PSG move was it a success or a failure it's it's i hate saying this but it's actually both footballing wise it was a failure because you didn't inspire the team to win the ucl marketing wise it was a resounding success because i'm sure psg sold way more shares had way more merchandise and there was a lot more traffic and a lot more interest in psg and the brand psg because of messi and all of the millions and millions of fans that he brought in so from a marketing um, advertising, branding point of view, it was a resounding success. But from a footballing point of view, it was a failure. Messi was brought in to win the UCL. That was why he was brought in. He was brought to win the UCL. And they didn't even come close. They didn't even come close to getting towards the UCL final. So, you know, branding, cool. Footballing-wise, no. And I think for Messi right now, look, I think it's good that he did this because it's like, okay, I had some exposure to a different league. Found it hard in my first year, cracked it in my in my in the other years that I was there. Oh cool. You know, I didn't give them the, the UCL. I gave them the World Cup. Thank you, Kasa. And I'll move on. Where does Messi go? My I recommend Inter Miami. I think Inter Miami would be the best place for him to go. And I think it is the club that would make the most sense if he was to go to Inter Miami. If not Inter Miami. Like the vid, subscribe, head over there for the website, and head over there for tonight's hangout where we shall discuss this on the live hangout.